Hi there, I'm Jazz from Group Technologies and we're here at the Digico booth. I've got Pete here with me from Fourier Audio and we're here to talk about Transform Engine. So Pete, can you tell us about the product? How does it work? Of course. I mean, so this is a 2U rack mount VST3 host um, that speaks Dante natively to let you take your plugins, any VST3 and run it in the live environment, low latency, reliably, interfacing with all of the rest of your equipment that speaks Dante. And for the first time at this show, we're really excited to announce that that includes the Digico consoles, which now have a upgrade card allowing you to connect them natively via Dante to the Transform Engine and to any other Dante equipment you might have as well. And do you think you could tell us how the plugins run with the hardware? Absolutely. So one of the things that's really exciting about this product is that we've designed for live, which means that we know that reliability is absolutely core for the engineers using this product. One of the things that we built into the design is a sandboxing between each of the chains, which means that if your, one of your plugins was to have an issue, the system automatically notices it, restarts that chain, and all of the other chains are totally unaffected. And this means that from a live perspective, if one of your plugins was to have an issue, um, it's not going to affect the rest of your rig and the gig doesn't even notice. Could you walk us through a common use case? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we hear a lot is that artists now uh, want to be able to translate their sound from the studio to the live environment effectively. And a large part of their sort of sonic signature is the plugins that they've used in the studio. And so one of the things that we're really excited with the Transform Engine is it allows artists to take that sound they've built in the studio with the plugins that they've, that they've used on their albums and bring them into the live environment, meaning that people coming to their gigs can have that same experience from the album, but in the live world. It sounds like the Transform Engine is quite versatile. Lots of applications. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we see people using this in front of house, we see people using this monitoring, but also in broadcast, also in the studio. There's so many applications in which something that's low latency and reliable with the flexibility of any VST3 um, makes sense for engineers. So we're really excited to get it into people's hands. And we did hear that it was recently launched in London. Can you tell us more about this? It's quite a new product. Absolutely. So Fury Audio uh, is a startup that I founded with Henry Harrod and Gareth Owen um, back in the pandemic in mid-2021. We're based in Denmark Street in London, and it's been a journey that's been really exciting, getting to the point of 2023, 2024, launching this product. Really, you know, an opportunity to take the time to build the products that we always wished had existed. Um, taking the time out to go, well, if we built the perfect plugin host, what would it be? And, you know, we hope that's what we've come up with the Transform Engine. Um, it's been a real journey and we're so proud to be within the Digico and Audiotonics family bringing that product with all of their support and worldwide sort of distribution to the world. It's been quite the journey. I can imagine. And so you said you founded this company. How did you get together with Digico and form, form what you've got, this alliance at the moment? I think we really realized that uh, Digico served some of the biggest and best shows in the world with the biggest and best consoles. And we realized that what we need to do is be in workflow for our users. It's got to be smooth, it's got to be seamless. And so we wanted our users to be able to seamlessly drop their plugins into their console workflow, not being swapping between console and something else. We wanted that, wanted that sort of intuitiveness under the fingers using the hardware that users already have. And with our integration with the Digico consoles, that's what we can provide. It's about making plugins as easy to use as if you were mixing in the console, um, but giving you access to that wealth of flexibility that plugins can bring. So it sounds like a really good alignment. Thank you for walking us through it. Appreciate it and I hope you have a good NAM. And you.